I said, and he's got a bottle of a hooch with him, some tequila, <laughs> and he's... Red flag. No worry, no <laughs> worry, gringo. Broken bones, concussion? No, just ant bites. <laughs> and they hurt and they puffed up. Uh, oh really. no. I've had so many, so many near misses. Wow. And how many venomous bites have you encountered? <laughs> I, I think about what's he saying? Seven, eight with this? Ten. Refer back Ten. to your secretary. Yeah, you're forgetting about the time you and the girls were laughing at me when I was walking around with a Gila monster attached to my hand. <laughs> well, there you go. That's venomous. I forgot. I had three Gila monsters in a in a cage. <laughs> Two females, a male, and I thought, well, I'm gonna breed them. All right, sure. <laughs> uh, well, they dirty their paper, so I had to clean them. Well, in doing so, I forgot there was one way over here in the corner, and I. <laughs> I hit it with my hand. Tonk. Oh man, all of a sudden it starts hurting. And I pick up this Gila monster on my hand and he dripping blood everywhere. Yep. And uh, <clears throat> I go to the shower and wash off my hand and it's bleeding very copious amounts of blood. And I show my daughter and she, oh my God. <laughs> Anna's teaching summer school or something. Yeah. I call her, she starts laughing. She said, you got bit by what? I said, Anna, I just got nailed by a heel monster. She said, you got it. So they rushed me to the hospital. She did. Took me to the hospital. I get to the hospital. There's a, uh, an intern from Mexico oh. there. And he no sabe mucho inglés. Well, I no sabe mucho español, pero uh, cantina Spanish, you know, the <laughs> bad Spanish. And so my wife, who speaks fluent Spanish, asked him, have you ever treated these bites? Oh, yes, many. Es, uh, es el lagarto, es muy venenoso. Very poisonous. Mm-hmm. So he wants me to go get an x-ray. You remember that, Hannah? Yeah. Well, they I, had them come up to give you an x-ray. Yeah, they came. I said, what are you giving me an x-ray for? <clears throat> they said, well, probably got a lot of broken bones. I said, have you ever, and I was hurting, I said, have you ever treated a beaded lizard bite, a lizard bite, like a Gila monster? The guy asked, what, what is a beaded lizard? <laughs> I looked at her and I said, I'll tell you what, AMA me out of here, I'm gone. And I walked out, there's a liquor store about a block away. <laughs> I got a tin of aspirins and a pint of Jose Cuervo Blanco, the tequila. Don't try this at home, kids. And I went ahead and that's how I cured my, <laughs> my bite. But I'll tell you what, my hand swole up like a baseball glove. It was mm -hmm. huge and hurt. You know, they have cryotoxin. Cryotoxin mm -hmm. is one of the the um, most violent and, and painful of all natural occurring toxins. And that's the reason why, and their venom is really unusual. It's evolved at, to the point that now they're using it uh, for both cancer research and for um, diabetes. diabetes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're making inroads where there may be a, a link where they can use this to help people who suffer from diabetes. But my hand turned pink, as pink as a little baby's butt, and it peels. Just like, a, just like you would peel if you had um, a, uh, you know, sunburn. It was probably from the swelling you had. I think so. Mm -hmm. And the heck of it was is a week and a half later, it's all puffed still. And, and I get in my Jeep and I said, Annie, I got to go take a run. I can't, I can't. So I took a run down Juno, second curve, light phased gray band going across the road. Grabbed it and two seconds later, here come some guys from I don't know where. We've been here for about a week and a half. We hadn't seen one of those yet. You want to sell? I said, no, I don't want to sell it. 
And uh, I said, just keep looking. And I had no, they had no more than taken off. And I get another little one. <laughs> Only this one's an alternomorph up by the, the, the uh, Baker's Crossing. <clears throat> Jeez, and I said, so I just went, mm, 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 back and forth, We're two miles this way, two miles that way. You know, all night long down there, and I caught some sabox. So I was happy, but boy, I was hurting. I was really hurting. It's been interesting. There's a lot of things I could tell you uh, if I could just recall them all in, in one general series. Tell but, me about tell me about um, some of your foreign travels. Yeah, well, mainly mainly Mexico, and you know a few other odds and ends. Mm -hmm. Some I can't discuss too much, but um, Mexico I spent a lot of time on the west coast of Mexico, hmm. and I'd catch a, catch a bus or a train. And you could catch a train and you could go down there real reasonable. A lot of times I'd catch the train and go through the Tarahumara country and uh, uh, down to Manzanillo. Well, not Manzanillo, but uh, Mazatlan. And uh, one time in 1967, 1967, I was on my way. I was driving by myself and I was between... Uh, Saltillo and Mazatlan, and it must have been about three in the morning. And you're <clears throat> high above some of the clouds; it gets cold and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting to starting to go down in elevation, and I saw a little snake over there by the side of the road, and I didn't know what it was. So I whipped it around and came back, picked it up. It was a little bitty, skinny rattlesnake. Oh. And I put it in a, a jar, put it in the seat, and kept on driving. <clears throat> so I get down there and come to find out it's a long-tailed rattlesnake. Hmm. They're pretty rare, Stenagari. Wow. In fact, uh, recently they found some that uh, they've reclassified as Robert Evans' eye. Hmm. And that's what it looked like. Wow. And uh, that snake went to Herb Harris and to uh, another guy. No, it wasn't her. No. Uh, but went to a photographer for $500. And it was a little bitty skinny thing with a rattle that was about a third as long as it was. Huh. Those were good days. Wow. And uh, I spent a lot, a lot of times I'd go down there and I had a, a collector in Colima. I had several of them. I had Lorenzo Covion, Juan Jesus Garcia, and uh, Figueroa. And Figueroa was a little Indian. And he had bees in his ha out of the back part of his house. <laughs> and they don't have a lot of windows or anything because it doesn't get cold down there. Mm -hmm. So uh, what would happen is uh, if it rained, you just got out of the rain. But those, he'd say, oh, you can stay at my house. Okay. Those damn bees would sting me. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so I had to. Well, did they not sting him? No, well, he was allergic and not allergic to them in any way. I mean, you know, he just had them all the time. The thing about it was is that he would have cases and cases of fresh caught West Coast rattlesnakes, you know, Crotus, Basiliscus, Basiliscus, yeah. Right. And then also he'd have uh, other types of rattlesnakes. He had umpteen J in cantiles of hmm. all sizes. And heel among, I mean, beaded lizards. I picked up 25 at one time for $20 a piece. Huh. Wow. And there were four of them there that were black. What? And they come off and they say, oh no, that's Alvarez eye. I got news for you. Maybe Alvarez eye doesn't have any markings, but neither did these. So what were they? Hmm. And uh, you know, you're talking West Coast and, and the way Mexico is, there's no telling exactly what you're finding. It's mm -hmm. still a big game because mm -hmm. they don't allow collecting down there per se. And you're and now it's really bad with the Zetas right. and with all the, the narcotico traficantes. You can there's been people 
the University of Pennsylvania lost a couple of researchers several years ago. They got killed. Mm -hmm. They got uh, they were found uh, walking around the opium fields. Yeah, down there around Kosala. So people aren't able to properly Sinaloa. survey. Well, what happened in Sinaloa with us? <clears throat> we were driving along, and I was with this other guy. He had a Volkswagen, and here we are driving this damn Volkswagen. And as big as I am, I'm, you know, outside like this almost. <laughs> Clown car. And, you know, I kept, we're catching uh, the uh, uh, Nelson, Nelson and I, and they're coming in through there. I mean, you catch like five or six in one night. <laughs> big, beautiful things. And uh, we drive there, and then we drove. Got stopped a couple of times by these guys driving a Volkswagen the thing with a 50 caliber mounted on it. And mm. it, it was the uh, Policia Federal. Oh, wow. And so we explained to them what we were doing, showed them, and ah, you crazy gringos, okay. And they'd just see us. And one time they stopped and said, oh, there's a big one of those snakes over there. And we, sure enough, they could have run over it, but they didn't because they knew we could use it. The thing about it was is that later on that night, I got real sleepy. And I'm going, geez, I mean, he was too. And we normally drank so much coffee that, uh, I mean, our urine must have been bronze. <laughs> and, and, I mean, we were like this, you know, just coffee-itis. And that night, we drank probably two thermoses of coffee each and were... So we pull over, and there's this huge bogan via that runs for miles on both sides of the road. And this road is a beautiful road. I mean, it's like a, like a nice, like I-10 or something. It's okay. smooth and nice. All right, so, mm -hmm. um, so you fell asleep, you wake up, you're in the middle of the poppy field. We're right by a poppy field, as far as the eye can see. So I walked across and looked as best I could in the other, and sure enough. So we drove on in the coastline, and we got some coffee, and I got to looking around, and everybody there is, is Mexican, they're not Anglos, and they're all giving us the, the once over, you know, like, what the hell are these guys doing here? And as we drive in, I notice that there's Bob wire and concertina wire, and there's some, uh, uh, machine gun oh. places, and in the middle of town, here's these two huge stacks, smokestacks and stuff, and there's stuff coming out of the top. Come to find out, there was a processing place for heroin, <laughs> and here we are, here's, here's the two dumb butt gringos, well, we are here hunting snakes, uh, uh, what's that you're smoking in that pipe, mister? Jeez, cops. we we bopped it out of there real quick, <laughs> but uh, I love Mexico and I miss it so bad because there are so many good people down there and the border is one of the worst places in the world because the border brings out the worst in both races of people. The worst in the Anglos, the worst in the Mexicans because what they're trying to do is money, 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 money. You get down in the interior, and if you break down, I had guys I broke down in, in this old uh, um, Suburban and needed a water pump and some other stuff in Madiwala, and they actually uh, dropped what they were doing, helped me get the part, put the part on, and then I, I bought the rounds of beer to Little Cantina. There in Veracruz, in Orizaba, where they have the uh, um, Dos Equis y Tres Equis Cerveceria um, and make the beer there. And of course they have fine coffee there mm. in Veracruz, good coffee. But <clears throat> the thing about it is, is that uh, there's a little church, if you go down the railroad tracks, uh, right next to them and there's a little church. And strangely enough, across from the church is a cantina. <laughs> so I guess you, and then you go and ask for <laughs> forgiveness. <clears throat> Anyways, I went to the cantina and somebody told me 
This friend of mine in Florida said, if you ever want snakes, stop in that cantina and talk to those people. They're the campesinos, the people that work in the fields. Mm -hmm. So we did. And I told them, I showed them pictures in the book, photographs mm -hmm. of the uh, Salvini, of uh, Ravis, and of different types of rattlesnakes. Man, within two or three days when they came back in, they had little boxes, uh, little baskets, you name it. I had more Ravis and, and Salvini than I had ever seen in my life. And some, wow. some of the Salvini were purple. They were gorgeous. Wow. You remember those, Anna? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, man. But, uh, and I was paying a dollar a piece <laughs> for the Ravis and dollar and a half for Salvini. And they brought another type of rattlesnake, Cumanensis, I think. Mm -hmm. They were pretty good size. But, uh, you know, it was, it, I, I couldn't believe it. And it got to the point I had to tell them no, but I'd buy the beer for them anyway. <laughs> but uh, if you're ever down there, you let me know beforehand. And uh, I don't think I'm wanted in that area for anything. <laughs> There, well, there's some places in Mexico I don't dare go <laughs> because I, 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 people got mad at me. Uh, yeah, I, I can go there still, I think. But, if, but my mustache and everything and older looking, if I go with Ray or somebody, they'll just think it's the blind leading the blind. <laughs> Well, these were some tales of old mm -hmm. from the young Dr. Earl Turner. Thank you so much for sharing these stories with us. My pleasure. And if you guys tune in in the future, Dr. Turner is going to give us some stories about breeding Bushmasters. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.